Greetings and welcome to Florence Ballard A3060, home of the Hotpoint 9530A, Mila W560 washing machines and the greatest groups of the 1960s, the Beach Boys and the Supremes. Okay guys, so today is the day I leave America and I thought it was my last thing before my vlog of going home. I do a video of the Hotel Iron. This is a Sunbeam Hospitality Model 3964-099 Steam Iron. One thing I like about this, it's got a slider, as I pointed out on my first day here when I arrived as well. It's a, it's sort of a rotating time, uh, like selector. The steam options are actually opposite because in the ones I have at home, it starts with no steam here and then you go to high steam there, whereas it starts with no steam. I don't see that. One other difference, it hasn't got a um, insulated cord because it's got an American plug, of course. Um, they don't have an earth cable. Uh, yeah, an earth wire. They don't have an earth pin. Um, running a bit in short time because after this I got to do a, a bit of an update on something. Um, so without further ado, we'll get on with it. Because the ironing board doesn't have an iron stand, I always rest it on the table. So now this one, of course, we plug it into the lamp. Don't know if you heard it click. <clears throat> got a small cup of water. I'm just going to iron the hotel towel. It's not really anything worth ironing. I've packed all my stuff ready anyway. Okay, so. We have a mains iron indicator. Let's flick it up and heat. Just like that. It's a ceramic sole plate, so it'll 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 um, what should we call it? It'll cool down very quickly. I don't know if you're able to see it, the water going in. We really don't need that much, to be honest, because this also doesn't it doesn't have a steam boost button like how our ones do. Okay, I'll just let that heat up. And I'll... I better hear that. Oh my gosh! Since how did that happen? God, it wasn't like that when I left on the second. What? God. That's hot. Get hot. Okay, ready? Excuse the awkward camera angle because I haven't got my tripod on me. It does release quite a lot of good steam though, and it's very, very easy to hold. What I tend to do with this is I tend to rest it down. I push it, rest it forward, and then watch. Ah. If I do it for a bit longer, it'll do it. Now it should go. Alright, it's not doing it now. <laughs> it was doing it earlier though. As you can see the selection. Sunbeam um, seems to be quite a common brand here. Or there's another one called... Um, oh, what are they called? They had them in Walmart. Something and, and it's a very unusual name. I can't remember what it is now. Beach, something beach or something. Oh, be beach something? Wooden? No. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. I will remember it. Something sands, I think. I can't remember. Um, I can use the water function, though, if you can see it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we love that. There's not really many functions on this um, to use. Smells good though. It's got it's got a 360 swivel cord as you see on the back there. I don't seem to see an ironing guide anywhere, but that's your. I can't figure out a date from that. Steam and dry iron, classic steam and dry iron. But yeah, look at the scale that's got on it. I don't know where that came from. Maybe it was not like that. And I, as far as I know, no one has stayed in this room. We were only away one night anyway. So. Hear that? It's quite a squeaky ironing board we've got. I haven't. Watch. Ah! Bloody burning me. Ready? See if I can get to do it. A bit flashing. Oh, yes! 
I said, guys, I'm not really. I'm, this is just a quick video because people wanted to know what iron I had. Uh, Washer Crazy wanted to know as well, so I thought, okay, I'll <clears throat> just give me one extra video to do here. Okay. Nice. Don't normally get to use an iron in the bathroom. We're going to do the self clean function in there. It's going to get very steamy, I'll just tell you that. I thought it was bad when I had a shower the other day. We've got really oh yes, there, that's all coming out now. Okay guys, well that was the Sunbeam uh, Hospitality uh, Model 3964-099 steam iron that my hotel has. Um, very quick demonstration of that and I thought I'd do the self-clean function seeing, seeing as we had a uh, plug socket in the bathroom. Now then guys, this is where I've been wanting to update people on something. Um, Alright, now this is like the only, the only time I've ever opened up about something like this properly on YouTube as one of my friends did notice um, his name is obviously Electronic Deluxe he messaged me the other day and was um, telling me that obviously I've, I've got a lot of confidence on camera I, I never think I do it's just I think I just feel that I can you know I might as well tell people the real reason because there are friends who know about my personal life I think well you know they'll know someone will comment um, I think you all know what I'm re referring to here. So when I did my first vlog around Denton on Florence's Florence Ballard's birthday, I got home. I got back to my hotel and my phone went off, didn't it? It got a message and it was from Mahogany. You know about this girl. Well, everyone's asking what the update is because on the first of July, the day I did the laundromat video, at the very end, I was actually going to meet her that day. And one was I met her that night. It was all okay. I'm not going to explain too much because I don't want everyone to know the true thing. But let's just say, guys, I was unaware that she already had a boyfriend. So, um, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not, it's not the fact that it wasn't meant to happen. It's just the fact it was just bad timing. You know, I, I wasn't aware of this. I mean, I'm not going to explain too much about the conversation we had the night before when I, she called me, but I was aware of someone else coming along with her. Um, and obviously, being autistic, it doesn't play well when you're expecting to meet someone on their own, but then someone who you don't know is coming along. So obviously, I had said to her, well, I don't want this person to come along, really. And I didn't know who it was. And obviously, I think she told him that, you know, that I didn't want it to come along. He might have got suspicious about that. Because when we met it's normally I get on with people very well but like when I met this guy I'm not going to reveal who he is or anything um, we didn't click because everyone here I've clicked with as soon as I've met so that's how I knew there was going to be a bit of tension and I gave her the card and bracelet as you know and well when I told her I mean she, she looked very sad that unfortunately I've got and then I revealed to her, I said, Mahogany, well, look, um, if, can I tell you, do you want to know something? And I said, I never came to Texas to see Diana Ross, I came to see you. I've never seen a more anguished face in my life, like shocked, like say, what? Like, you mean to say you came all the way from London to, to, to Dallas, basically, just to see me? And I said, yeah. Um, and she messaged me the other night and said that she felt bad that she didn't think she was worthy. And I said, well, you know, you are, it's... Um, I mean, I got to admit, when I came back on that Thursday, on Saturday night, 
I came back and I just sobbed uncontrollably in my room. I was so upset about it and whatnot. And it kind of has had a bit of a bad effect on me, you know. I mean, it's like I just can't wait to go home now. It's like I want to forget all this happened. I've tried to enjoy my holiday here, though. So far, I have, really. You know, I mean, I'm not going to give up because it's just the fact that, like, it's not the fact she said she didn't want me. It's just the fact that she just couldn't say yes. But if not, guys, there's... Well, I'm not going to reveal too much about my personal life, but there is someone else that I know. Um, and in fact, there is someone that... There's a few people that deserve a really big shout-out for um, helping me through this because it's the first time I've been through heartbreak and I've taken it quite badly, you know, to the point where, like, I just... I don't know, it was just, like... I didn't even want to go to the concert. It was like, and we met at the concert and everything was fine, actually. I mean, we were all right and... You know, she said goodbye, to, you know, hugged me, and she said she's going to miss me and everything. So, you know, we spent time chatting. It's not as if it didn't, um, you know, didn't actually go to plan. It, it was just nice. I just think it, I think what it was, as people have said, it might not have been meant to have happened this time. It's, I think, and I personally think there's a lot we've got to understand about each other because you guys have never seen me get nervous. Like, when I get nervous, it's like I'm having a panic attack. I can actually make myself cry. I get so scared. So when I was telling her all this and asking her about doing her hair and everything in a certain way, it was like that. So, and she was quite shocked. She said, are you crying? And, you know, she didn't know that I obviously get that. You know what I mean? Whereas, you know, I think just needs a bit more time. But I'll see what happens in time to come and who knows. But the people I want to give a shout out to, number one, I want to give out to, uh, he's not on YouTube, but he's due to, I think he wants to make a channel. Luke Skelding, if you're watching this, um, thank you for all your advice on, on mahogany and whatnot. It's been great sharing it all with you and telling you the updates and whatnot and sending you all the messages she sent to me and whatnot. Um, you know, it's been, we've had, you know, we're both washing machine enthusiasts, but at the end of the day, we've learned more about love through, you know, in our friendship. Um, you know, and I'm always here for you, buddy, you know, same way you are as well. Um, who else have I been chatting to really? Uh, well, she's also not on here, but she, I think she knows about my channel. Um, I have a, I have a, one of my sisters, like, um, she's called VB Miss Ross. Uh, if you go on Twitter or not, she's called Caller Miss Ross and Instagram. But she's just like, she lives in Switzerland, but like, we, we talk over WhatsApp and whatnot and what. Um, and we just chat about, you know, I've been updating her. Let me just see who that is. Who's that? George Savvy. Okay. Um, we talk about, you know, all us. We, we're Diana Ross fans, but we talk about, like, other things. And she's also been helping me, you know, even though she's not on the time. She's actually seven hours ahead of us, of Texas. But she, even when I've been in England, she's been on the call to me, giving me advice. Um... She was right about something, actually. She actually said to me, are you sure Mahogany doesn't have anyone else? I said, well, you know, she's public about stuff, and I didn't realise, obviously. Yeah, so thank you, sis. You know, you you were just amazing to me, and I'm, I'm happy to have you. You know, I'm happy to have people like this. And, of course, I think we all know who I'm going to give another shout-out to. Guys, you can get mad at me and say, oh, you give this person way too many shout-outs, but at the end of the day, she's here every single day when I talk to her. Um... And I know she watches my videos because she saw my vlog and she said it made her cry when she knew what was going to happen with Mahogany. When she watched it, you know, and she remembers what I went through. Um, I mention her quite a lot. This is to Fran, Love Diana 20. You know, Fran from the one who I always talk about. And she, t she tends to message me while I'm, uh, while I'm doing a video. It's quite funny, actually. Um, she has been here every single day that I've been told. I've been... Because, like, I didn't want to bug too many people over this. I mean, there's about, like, eight or nine people that know about Mahogany. I thought, well, I, I want to let people know gently. I don't want everyone coming and asking me. Um, and I'll just say, guys, after this video, I don't want any more discussion about this. And I'm sorry to say this, but the person who brings it up again or asks, if you want to apologise, like, if you want to say to me, like, I'm sorry about what happened with Mahogany, do it on this video. But I don't want it on any other videos because I just don't want to be reminded of this. And I'm sorry to say that anyone who does bring it up, I will be removing that comment and possibly blocking that person because it's it's something that has affected... It's not affecting me too badly, but it's just something I just think I just don't want to really remember, you know. I'm over it now, but it's just why go back on it? Leave this video for it. 
if you want to give your condolences. Um, and I will say as well, guys, it's nothing Mahogany did. It's nothing her fault. So I don't want anyone saying to me anything against Mahogany because I'm not angry at her over this. It's just, I didn't know. It's simple as. And it's not something you can technically ask someone, have you already got a boyfriend? Because it would have made everything obvious if I did that. And it would have kind of freaked her out a bit. You don't just ask a girl that. But anyway, I was saying, Fran, she's been here like, we've been chatting because she's in Florida, which is only about like an hour away, an hour flight from here. Uh, she's in Miami. So we've been chatting like practically on the same time. And when I go back to the UK, we're five hours difference. But even still, we talk all the time. Like, I, I basically sat in my hotel for one day just constantly chatting with her. Um, and we have a laugh and everything, but she, she's told me she knows what it's like and everything. And, you know, she's been here. And, you know, she, she gave me a call the other day, and I felt bad because I cried on calls to her when I was telling her that... Because, um, you know how I've been for texts, I've been putting different songs at the beginning of my... A lot of them relate to what I'm doing. So, for example, on the day I was flying here, Jet Airliner was about flying and about my love light. You know, it was all about my finger flying to Texas. My second thing was Florence Ballad, Everything Wonderful, because that's what we actually played when we set off our balloons. And then, obviously, if I was to have met Mahogany and things have gone right, the song I was going to use was Please Let Me Wonder by the Beach Boys because it's a song that relate, like tells everything of how I feel about it and it was, it was describing the day that we meet. And that song for me, if I was to play it now, I would break down to tears. It's like, at the moment, I can't listen to that song. So I'm hoping that it, I can again soon. So I was telling her that and I just like, I just started crying, saying I can't, you know, for the first time I can't listen to the Beach Boys in a way. But anyway, guys... It happens, you know, it's not everything can go your way. See, it's been going great, but do you know what? I'm not going to let that ruin it. Uh, you know, as I said, you know, it's not the end of it for me, really. It's not the end of it for everyone, for anyone, you know. And, yeah, you know, never know, things might happen. Who knows? Anyway, guys, so that's the last video here until I do my vlog flying home. So, without further ado, guys, to just remember to keep it supreme and... Go with the flow and also i'll say god bless you all for being you know thank you you know i'm blessed to have people who are actually are here to support me so yes so see y'all in london if you notice i've been using that term y'all it's the way that they say you all around here um i've been probably using that in my videos now because i've gotten into the habit of saying it so yeah thanks guys